the Joms Vikings war was over. And Emperor Kittil, the world slayer of Nenitsia, was happy again, ready to test his mettle against the beasts of the wilderness and against other unfortunate empires. He ordered his troops to return. And other troops he ordered to uh, give away the leader and go um, just about somewhere else, far away maybe. Why this is always hitting our heartlands? We, we even have hospitals, come on. Um, maybe let's go to Kimi or something like that. Maybe that will be fine. Where Duchess Alfred the Great is ruling. There we shall be. Let me show you our heir and grandson. How has he developed? Ah, well, he's, he seems to be doing well. Just, just like his grandfather. That is his betrothed. Is she doing well too? She seems to be doing very fine. Of the house Abonid. Very interesting. Coming from second band slave of Enquisen. Oh my goodness. Um, the feast is over. And with it the blot. Yeah, we had a blot. A great blot. It will be at least nine years until we behold the next one. And as, as our vassals return home, most seem to agree that the ceremony was well worth the trip. Here we go. Celebrating what we have. And someone probably wants to marry... Oh, our son. Prince Hemming, matrilineally. Oh... How many heirs do we have still? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this. I mean, Hemming is. I don't know where Hemming is. He's not in this line. And Berengaria of Ibbotson. What the? The Queen of where is Iwerthon? Here. Alright, <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, take our son. He shall make you happy. <laughs> and what's going on here? There's Haystein's host. Ooh, we must return to this. Go and drive away Haystein's host, will you? You don't need a leader to do that. Charge! <laughs> Maybe shortly before, I'm not sure. Oh, we can do it. There we go. <laughs> Other than that, we are trying to improve our heartlands, and maybe we should start with these heartlands and the hospitals there. Our vassal king buried of Estonia is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. Yeah, I mean, um, no. <laughs> no, no, no. And you go to Medelpad. That's where you are safe, right? Hopefully. Ah, well, that would be the time to improve the hospital maybe a bit. Let's give them a sick house. If the people are sick, let's give them the sick house. I mean, we're at least a little bit kind, so... Better be safe than sorry. And what could we do here? Give him a soup kitchen, maybe? Yeah, that's not... But we don't want to go under 1,000 gold. That is always kind of a little bit hurting. I would rather even have 2,000, but this is a special situation. Hemming, or the second of Pinchora, has provided me with proof that Prince Tolia our, has been viciously slandering me. There are vicious rumors on him. We're just uninspired. Um, but our son, we, we love our son. I mean, no. Uh, I mean, no. We'll keep this to ourselves. That cannot be. Come on. I mean... Truly, it's our son. We trust him. And we're not, I mean, we're paranoid, but 
We ra we'd rather think this man is trying to give us something to betray us. Sealed Helgi burst into your chambers, flanked by several Huskarls, dragging the Baroness Alfhild to them in chains. We already think she's... Yeah, I mean, she's crazy. She's crazy. She has a great pox, and because of that, she's probably crazy. And possessed. And slothful and everything else. The Baroness, uh, oh, but she's of the house Dovre. Bring out the branding iron. <sighs> Arrange with throttle off the heir to the kingdom of Perm. The king of Perm is Germanic, at least. Wants to marry our granddaughter, who's already slothful, patient, and shy. Well, um, why not? She shall be happy in time. Yeah, maybe we, we could build more of the hospitals here. Let's see. How about a little soup kitchen? In gastric land. Brig Brigida calls my name from the other side of the dining hall for a flitting. Ah. She looks like a Valkyrie. Standing on one of the long tables, challenging me to a flitting. Brigida aggresses the crowd, saying that there was never a man who could pleasure his lover as swiftly and abruptly as I can. Uh mm, Miss Swollen Ankle. Oh, Hmm, she's gluttonous, arbitrary, craven, stubborn, envious. Does she have anything positive about her? Uh, envious, ambitious, she's not ambitious. Is she really envious? Yeah. Yeah. It is telling how much eager you are to play word games or for proper fights. I lost my what? I lost my temper, seeing that I was unable to rebook Brigida's insults. The crowd quickly sided with her, ensuring her victory. Uh, after I admit defeat, Brigida calms me down and orders a drink for both of us, ensuring that it was all done in good fun and it was not her intention to seriously offend me. Yeah, I mean, she's a fan of us, but still, that hurt. That really hurt. What do they want to do? He wants to marry our granddaughter, the king of oh, King Abericos the Great, and Björg. I mean, he asked first. Why not? Here we go. Björg, ah, we'll miss her. We'll miss her. <clears throat> She's such a talented young woman, even if she's a little bit um, got uh, temperamental, how, how do you call that? <laughs> our girl, our girl. Oh. And when you think of nothing good, nothing bad, a peasant revolt happens. 9,000 men. This is really, it's too much. It's too, too much. How many men can we get from here? 4,000? 200? Ah, oh, come on. I want the men near here. 2,000? Uh, someone must have some troops. Yeah, here we go. So we'll give these to Kettle because he's an organizer. And then we'll march in and show them how it's done. When you're the when you're the emperor and have doubled the troops, that is. Here we go. Oh, we must hurry. It's winter is coming. What who wants to our grandson and Ilva? The heir to the county of Neriki and Toki 
Ragnarsson, our grandson. Is he in the... Yeah, I mean, he's in the inheritance thing. So, no. No, no, no. That's not how we'll do it. A piece of the Rock of the Raven has fallen off, my goodness. Almost hitting a bystander. Oh, it will be repaired at once. Someone died. Our concubine Flavia died. Flavia the Ruthless and our friend. Oh, goodness. Times are dire now. Times are really dire. Hmm. Well, we still got some friends, right? Among the chiefess Ulfield, the whiner of Caithness. Rainmar, the Gideon of Swibotchin. Oh, I don't know, but maybe. And do we still have concubines? Um, we only have our wife, I think. Private conversation. Let's private conversation her. Mm. No concubines anymore. Maybe we should change that. At least one concubine. Like to, that's that's something for the status, right? So, um, let's see. I mean, we have we have a lot of young women that are big fans of us. For example, this hunchback. Oh my goodness. Um, Alita. Kraka. Someone interesting like Ufruzina, a charismatic negotiator, but she's chaste. That's probably not good for a concubine. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Inga. She's brave, she's groomed, she's honest. She's a tribalist. But she's not the lightest bulb. Um, now we have Glod. A heavy infantry leader. Cynical and honest. And she seeks love. She's very martial too. Then we have, it's getting better, Beata, who's already pregnant. We have Helena of Finnmark, who's frail and has the great pox. <laughs> That's probably not the best. We have Constantia. What an interesting woman. She's gregarious, shrewd, lustful, ambitious, brave, and temperate. Just a courtier of Lesser Poland. Goodness, yeah. She's interesting. Let's invite her to court. Constantia. Yeah, we might have heard of this woman. Look at that. She's so talented. She's also so intriguing. It could be dangerous, but um, we have always been flirting with disaster. The Empress accepted my invitation to meet in the seclusion of the Sacred Grove. After some time talking, I take her hand and kiss her passionately. We do that, and after that we we attack. Let's see. Um, yeah, that that should be good, right? Sturbjorn, let's take Refer with us, and uh, Jutta. Charge! For Berserkia. And she's joining our court. That's cool. So we can now take her as a concubine. Here we go. I mean, we're not yet dead. <laughs> and that is. Well, it's telling. We return. Constantia here. Let's send her a gift. Or 
What an interesting woman she is. Yeah, we won. We have Snowid in here. Uh, let's see. There are some more prisoners. Gunhild. I don't know. Send her back. And Morigato. We'll see to that later. Good news, my lord. We've received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Bear. Oh, yeah. Saddle my horse. News from China. The people of man hang their heads in grief. Oh, now. Ah. Oh. Duchess Bertrado of man has suffered a crushing defeat against the Wei Empire. These Chinese invading everywhere. And she's going to be paid for. And Morigato. Because we need some room in the prison, you know. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Okay, that's fine. Nothing to sneeze at. Arrange matrilineal betrothal. What? Okay. Mm, sick house. Yeah, we have had the sick houses built. Now let's see what else we can improve. Um. Hmm. Sudaman land. Let's give them a soup kitchen. Good soup will heal everyone, right? Here we go. Soup kitchens for the sick. You've gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You've settled your horse and prepared your weapons. You're ready to set out to hunt the great white bear. This time it will not escape me. I introduced my friend to Raymar. I had high hopes. I hoped they would become fast friends so we could spend time together, the three of us. Raymar and my friend had a great time together. Great stuff. And our grandson needs some guidance. Oh, what is he good at? Diplomacy. But do, does he really want to do that? He's rather a steward. Let's look at the minor titles. Has someone died? In you, Drotsetti. Mm, a steward of the realm. When we were just talking. The possessed Septyamka. <laughs> we could choose our wife. Yeah, she's the Drotsetti. And we have the Marx, the standard bearer and marksman. Mm-hmm. Linda, um, the, our marshal of Nenezia, yeah. Um, then we have Refer, Barid, Jutta. Jutta is, is in, I read. Um, I don't know. Actually, um, hmm, the king of Estonia. He doesn't really like us, so we'll give him that job. Let's bribe him with it. Spent weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey. You're forced to return empty handed. You're sure that no one's impressed by your failed adventure. It's my own failure. That's that's the being diligent does that to you. We were just not diligent enough. And I don't know. What will happen here? But why is this always following us around? I don't know. There are raiders? Where? I've already disappeared. We have new soup kitchens built. That's nice. Refer has improved significantly, says Linda, our marshal. Refer. Excellent. Wow. He gains the trait Siege Leader and he's now even better than our Marshal. Ooh, so good. So good. Refer. Yeah. And looking at him, maybe we should start coupling a little bit. Right? I mean, whom could he marry? 
from our court. 35. He could marry Linda. What a dream couple. Yeah, that would, that would be good, right? They're about the same age, and... Uh, yeah, they're both lowborn, but that's fine. The lowborns are getting influence here. <laughs> and she also wants to marry. How nice is that, right? Yeah, they can practice together now. They can play chess. They can, I don't know, go out and play with the swords or however that's called today. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice times they will have. Alita, our granddaughter. Mm, what's she good at? Fighting and, for example, mathematics, I think. Something like that. Counting, accounting. Yeah, she can do some accounting then. Mm. The Jarl of Wealth wants to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Nenezia. Are you kidding me? What powerful vassals does he have? Allies, I mean. Ugh. Cannot imprison him. Ah. <laughs> yeah, he's already. Um... Is he still doing that? The Jarl of Welsk? No. Not anymore. Even the people in our prison like us. <laughs> How is that? And who is that? She's been in prison for like forever. She defeated the Dread King of Darkness. It, what? <laughs> what? <coughs> what? Uh, um. You know what? Um, we'll. I think we'll release her. Yeah, I mean, she def defeated the Dread King of Darkness, right? Uh, that's that's gonna be worth something. Who else is here? Helena. Helena Dovre. Wow, she's a Dovre. And we have him prisoner. She's in the dungeon, even. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, why have you married this odd man? You're a proud Dovre of a holy order. Who? Um. Oh, she's of the Jumps Vikings. Now I I understand. We could recruit her, but why would we do that? No reason. Ransom her? No. Well, we'll just let her rot. It's okay. Maybe we need some war sacrifices. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Let's see what we can do in our provinces here. Oh, and we can't go on a grand hunt again. Let's do that, of course. We've been waiting for a chance like that to like get away from the day-to-day -day work here. And uh, things like that, you know. Things that keep us in, in there. White Hart has been seen in the north of Koloi. I'm told it is a heart of ten and the biggest deer ever seen. Hmm. But we're not a craven, right? Um, now we are, we are a little bit... Um, I think uh, we're stepping back a bit. I'll send out our best hunter. I want to be in, in battles. And the hunting is, is more like... We also want to further our younger ones. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Sturbjörn, has improved significantly. Oh, he's already good. And a hunter, and he will be now very excellent and be an organizer. So we have another organizer. We could 
Make our armies run like there's no tomorrow. Very, very good. There's another, another white heart. Oh, our son wants to kill? Yeah, he can't do that. It's fine. Proud of our son. It was a truly noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial abilities. The soup kitchen has been built two times. Yeah. Stubborn Baron of Kulo is really getting on my nerves. My wife Alfield sensed my irritation and offered to give me advice on the matter. Her diplomatic skill has saved me many times before. Um, we could be content. Are we ready to be content? <sighs> I mean, we're shy, Zilla, so we're hunting. We're a berserker, we're a content berserker. <laughs> and we love our wife, so I, I hope she can save me now. And we're, we're content. Uh, we're content with that. Absolutely, we're so content. We're really happy. It's like it's like a vaccine against depression, right? We're just content. Whatever happens, we're content with it. It's fine. It's all fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's it's fine. It's gonna be well, it's gonna be okay. And we don't need more than okay. Okay is absolutely okay. It's so okay that we don't need anything else that could be okay. Okay. Maybe we'll build some more soup kitchens. So oh, now visit the kids at the station and uh, play the clown. You never know. You never know. What about Hatuna though? Let's see. Castle towns, keeps, stables, training grounds. Or let's get us some barracks. I recently lost a game of drinking and Reinmar has approached me, wanting to talk about my temper. Patience is something that comes from within, my friend explains. I clench my fist, a gesture not lost on the man. You just need some guidance, he finally says. Reinmar the short-tempered. I think, I, I think, didn't he try once to... Mm. Uh, you clearly need more hobbies. Uh, the last time someone wanted to... <laughs> wanted to teach us was, uh, like, really, really bad. There are more smallpox coming. It's unlike... it's crazy. <sighs> what should we do with this? Um, let's have more castle walls here, maybe. Look, there's perm. Permanently perm. The humble Emperor Ekitil, staying idle is not in warrior's blood. I hence invite you to aid me against my enemies. We should help a, a, a strange Kargan. No, no, no. We're, we're too content with our situation and we're not ambitious. King Sterla of Estonia again? Hmm. Hmm. You can feel it coming in the air. Tonight. Can we get more retinues? Not really. Oh, we're content. Syphilis has broken out in Angermanland. Oh, Snowfrid, you need to stop this. It's dangerous. No fucking around with this. I'm sorry. Um... We have Gripsholm here. I don't know. Um, what? 
Dal Hemming has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Major Hauke of Sterlina's sexual preferences. Ah, we're not interested in that. I mean, it's it's nice of him, but it's really too much information. We didn't want that. In absolutely any case. Oh, how about the barony of Enkabe? Yeah, there's a lot that we could improve there still. For example, um, I don't know, barracks. I've encountered hero bars back many times while carrying out my duties for the wolf warriors. It's always a pleasant occasion. Hmm, he's a paranoid kowtow. Previously scarred, he's got the way of the dog. What? He's patient and diligent. What do you? Th what do we think of him? Oh, I'm probably reading too much into this. Now we have so many friends already. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on here? Refer. Sturbjorn. Georgia. Hunt these people down. They are not allowed to pass. And the Emperor doesn't will it. We'd rather go on the hunt. Maybe we'll find the white bear finally. Charge! Wolves on the hunt. You keep seeing a group of wolves from time to time. They only seem to appear when you're alone, though, when no one else is looking, however. Or well, as a strange, exhilarating infect on you, making your blood run quicker. Drawing out your hunting instincts. I feel so alive. Oh, well, there's a peasant revolt in Skane. And these guys are moving to that... Unfortunate... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... It's time. Let's... Go for more troops. I don't know. We'll attack here as well. War disrupts our grand hunt. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's see. Your faithful and trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Oh no. Long as he served you since you first received him as a puppy. But now it's time to bury your old friends. He deserves a proper funeral. Does he? Shy. I'll bury him quietly in the castle garden. A bit too shy to do something like that. Battle of Arboga, Wolf of Sogan was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. In the name of Odin. There's some more troops here. Not that many troops it seems. We can unite here and then take on the best of the best. Decadent rest. Uh, refer to ta yeah. Hunt the peasants down, I guess. Hunt the peasants down. What's going on the, in that? Do, don't we have a soup kitchen here? Could go for a leper colony. That would make a lot of sense. Hospital level expanded sick house. Isn't too, too bad too. But let's go for a leper colony. And here. Maybe another one. Now this is so disease ridden, so we, we we need to change something there. Charge my friends into battle. Into battle. We ride. It's time to fight. It's time to die for the enemy. Run away, peasants. Return to your fields. And then you'll be spared. Oh my goodness, but not many have been spared. Mm.
Yeah, well, we'll return, or oh, maybe we'll just stay in Scarlet, right? That's probably the best, seeing how this goes. Here with a Syphilis. Ooh. Ooh. Syphilis and smallpox. How is that always coming to us all the time? Let's win this. Colbjorn. And we need a new commander. And a new law speaker. Huh. Someone who is just. Uh, we'll take the ambitious Emond. <laughs> he needs to have something to do with his ambition. The court sculpt, Valdemar the Bewitched. And the guard, custodian of the stone. Oh, yeah, that's. Let's see, who could become that? Um, Björg, our half-sister. Our son, the High Chief of Kola and Great Poxic Lunatic. And we have a Watcher of Giants. Let's see. If we don't have any land, then at least we'll... Uh, he's already the custodian of the stone. Uh, our granddaughter needs something. She'll be watching the giants. And as a commander, we need... Um, hmm, this impaler. Or Sterla, the king of Estonia. Let's give him the chance to prove himself in battle. 17 is not shabby. All of this disease. Marshall tells me one of my commanders, Kjartan, has improved significantly. Kjartan, nice, excellent. Look at him. Look at him go. So many things. How about the economy? Nothing. Oh, the disease is over. Let's return. My liege, it pains me to say, but there's a traitor in the realm. Yeah, but do we trust you, Marshal of Velsk? Probably not, right? Evidence? This is nonsense. Marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Ottar, has improved significantly. Excellent! Wow, he's a cavalry leader now. Let's, let's give him a wife, maybe. Otar and it's 42. Renfri, another commander. Yeah, that, like that. <laughs> that commanders and marshals, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be uh, an, an own kind. Oh, there's another. Of course, there's another peasantry vault, right? Here it is, in Libus. Give us some help, grandson. To defeat these men. Charge! An outbreak outside the walls of Libus. That's good for us. Charge! Rum da dum da dum da 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 dum da dum da dum da 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 Now, it's time to fight and die for our opponents, that is. 
Alliance is coming. Doesn't matter. Here we go. I beat them down in the Battle of Millisburg. Another one. Actually bites the dust. Well, not yet. Hauker has arrived at our court. What about this man? He's so in his... Ah, he's so... I don't know. Let's marry him off to someone who wants to be married. Vic is our spy master. Hmm. Nah. He, he has to look for himself. If he wants to marry. I just... Hey, 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 yeah. Hunting, hunting back again. Let's see. The wealth is growing. And yeah, we, we still have disease problems here, so... Why not give in to a leper colony here as well? All of this leprosy. You've gathered your followers and your hunting dogs. You have settled your horse and prepared your weapons. You're ready to set out to hunt the great bear, white bear. Again, and here. Mm, let's give the pilgrims in. Barracks has been built in a tuna. Oh, yeah. That's all very nice. Scoring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal that you are after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours. But he invites you to talk and share experiences. I mean, we could invite him. I don't think we are, we are envious. That's just not. We are content. So, um, so we either hunt alone because we're shy. Yeah, I think it's better to hunt alone. Because we're so shy and we won't. You have returned to your court. Hunt for those elusive white beasts seems fruitless, but there are many more, are more things out there in the wilds. And maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll go on another grand hunt. I will find the white bear. Castle walls. Barracks. And another. Uh, it's like they wait for it. They wait when we are hunting and then... Then they spoil everything. Let's meet here and then beat them out. Ah. Oh. I'll send out our best hunter. Toki, our grandson. It's not good, Roger, our grandson. It's Toki. Still need some reinforcements. Come on. Some of the uprising have already went away. But now it's time to beat them. To defeat them forever. Charge! Ooh, that battle. How quickly, how quickly we eliminate the center of this army. That's kind of impressive, I have to say. And now we'll... We'll go back.
And so, and so, and so. If we turned... Yeah, that movement made no sense somehow. It doesn't matter. Well, um... But it might be time to, to make a pause, right? Um, mm -hmm. Mordwinko, the heir to the king of Perm. How about... No, not much really, nearly. Well, it's still fine. It's still fine. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. Next time, um, more happy fun times for the aging emperor, the world slayer. But he, wow, he still looks impressive. He's still a very good duelist. He's martially gifted. And um, we don't know what he'll do. Let's let's find out in the next episode. Maybe we'll try to pick a little bit on, on Vladimir again, right? Let's let's see if that's possible. Um. Yeah, we could theoretically do it. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Imran Khan. Signing out. See you soon.